Oh. <clears throat> All right, folks. The end of the world as we know it almost happened yesterday, which would have been hitting us today, which means you would not be watching this YouTube video. Our electrical grid would have been completely down. Communications fried. Satellites knocked out of the air. People in the space station would be dead. Anyway, this is what it will look like. And this did happen. Hey, let me get the thing here. Boom! There we go. Now, fortunately, this was not pointed toward Earth. It was on the back side of the sun. But this is a Carrington-style event. It did happen. And like I say, there's a chance when, it, when that happens, pointing towards us, uh, all the technology and all this electronic stuff will go poof. And uh, could you imagine that happening now in the winter time? All the people depend on electricity for heat. There would be a lot of dead people very quickly. Very quick. I mean, there's, there would be no way to stop it. Cities, it would just be like Boston would be gone. Rhode Island, gone. You know, there's... Uh, very few and far between people that could withstand sub-zero temperatures without modern conveniences. Chicago, poof, they'd be frozen. I mean, the government would try to save a few, but face it. There's not enough trees in the United States to heat that many homes through the winter. It'd be, it'd be over with. So it might be a good thing. It might be a good thing that it happens in wintertime. That way the suffering would be uh, minimized. You know, not to say that freezing to death isn't suffering, but at least it's over in a few days. A couple of days, poof, you're dead. <laughs> Instead of being, you know, starving to death. But anyway, that is just to go show you that, hey, our son, and it can pop out at us at any time without warning. 